Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sylvia Nicole. Thanks so much for tuning in. If this is your first time seeing me and not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm just going to talk to you guys while I do this really simple makeup look. I'm just talking to you guys about life, really, I guess. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> things I've been going through, things I want to get off my chest, and things that I wanted to share with you guys. So, let's get right into the video. I haven't really sat down and chatted with you guys since the summer started and there's a lot that I want to update you guys on. That's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to do my makeup just because I'm not going anywhere but just to, just for fun. I might take some pictures for Instagram later but that's what I'm going to be doing. It's the summertime. I've been home I think for three weeks. Actually, I think it's been four weeks, which I feel scared to say because I feel like I have not accomplished as much as I wanted to accomplish, like, for the summer. But the summer is really just getting started. It's just the beginning of June now. Um, but, you know, it feels great to be home. It's definitely an adjustment from being at school, living, you know, by myself in my dorm room, not having a roommate or anything, to coming home, living with my parents and my brother. Um, it's just definitely been an adjustment. Nonetheless, it's been great being home and all that great stuff. I've been in the city a lot, downtown. When I first got home, I actually did a lot of shopping that I didn't even really plan on doing. I just, I mean, I had to get, you know, I had to get these braids. I had to get shoes for the summer. Um, I bought clothes, summer jewelry, birthday outfits, and just new skates and everything so just a lot of purchases were made but the thing about me I never buy things that I don't need I never buy things just to buy them I buy things because I literally really do need them so I never feel bad about spending money or anything but that's basically what I did when the summer first started which is like buying stuff and getting ready for the summer my 20th birthday was like my 20th birthday was three days ago and I want to thank you guys again for all the birthday wishes and also thank you for 2300 subscribers um but i just can't believe i'm 20 and i want you to if you don't mind leave your age down below because i know a lot of y'all are also in your 20s but i just want to see but i can't believe i'm 20 you know 20 was the age that i looked up to growing up and i felt like can't wait to be 20 i'm gonna be grown i'm gonna be so different than how i am now i'm gonna be you know so wise and have it all figured out and i definitely <laughs> am wise but I do not have it all figured out at all and it was it's because I literally am still trying to figure everything out which is great and I wanted to give a few shout outs because I saw a youtuber that did this like he shout out his friends on his birthday so I just want to shout out like a few I don't know if I want to say names but the people that y'all already see on my channel like Sebastian and Rashawn and like my girl Sydney and Imani and you know like a few other friends from school like I really just appreciate them. I appreciate those type of people because I feel like for me doing YouTube, it's not something that everybody's gonna be on board with. It's not something everybody's gonna support 100%. And those people do for me. And you know, they don't mind that I'm always editing a video. They don't mind that I'm that whenever we hang out, I'm vlogging. <laughs> like they don't mind that. And I know that sometimes for them, it might get on their nerves, but they know that it's what I like to do. It's my dream and they just support me and I, and I just but I just wish because a lot of you guys I just am so happy that I'm not in the same place that I was last summer I mean last summer I was probably as lost as I don't know what I was probably as lost and unhappy as I don't know what and the uh, how much consciousness I've gained like in a year of what I'm actually doing is just amazing and I got to that point basically by reading what in the world is this? I got to that point by reading and by seeking <laughs> therapy. <laughs> I, I don't go to a therapist, but I, I watch um, YouTube videos. I'm not going to say, you know, like YouTube names or anything because I mentioned it before, but I just watch self-help channels. Like I, I wanted to help myself. So I just worked on myself and I've become so much more conscious and aware and it's like such a beautiful feeling. It's a little secret about me that a lot of y'all don't know is I actually really eventually kind of want 
to become an advice channel. I want to be able to give my viewers advice on life situations because I have gone through so many different life situations where I've had to go out and seek advice and figure out what to do. And it's not necessarily figure out what to do, but it's figuring out like a different perspective on the situation. And then I've been able to take that information and help somebody that has come across my path. And then it's like, I just feel like, oh my gosh, I have so much insight on things. And I've, you know, gained such a different, like I've developed such a different way of looking. At, I've, de I've developed a very mature way of looking at situations. And I want to share it with, with people. Like that's what I feel like is my purpose like as far as YouTube is concerned. That's kind of in a way what I am doing. Just some of y'all tell me, you know, just by just by me being on YouTube and making these videos for y'all, I'm helping y'all because y'all want to do the same thing. You know what I mean? Oh, Jesus. But it's just been a lot. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I was telling my mom, you know, with me turning 20, I just, you know, I do feel old. You know, I really do. I know it's not 21 or however you guys want to look at it, but I do feel old. Like, I'm no longer going to say I'm 19, I'm not 18. I'm, at, I'm 20. And it's just like, whoa. And I'm just going to try my best to appreciate these 20s as much as I can. I already have a gratitude. I have two gratitude journals. I'm going to get back into those. And I need to get a new book called the power of now and the power of now i forgot who, i forget who was by but it literally is a book about that it's about now like it's about this moment this moment this moment <laughs> and not looking back in the past and not looking in the future because if you do that you're gonna miss out on so many different like that's life is about appreciating now it's about now it really really is i was talking about the power of now yeah i do want to you know get that book and then the other thing i wanted to say was oh speaking of the power of now so i was i was thanking you guys for how i got 2300 subscribers and it's like every year for my birthday it's like i hit a milestone like last year for my birthday i hit 600 subscribers and now i'm at 2300 and that is kind of like what i was and i just remember you know sometimes in my bed watching youtube videos watching youtubers and I remember it was this one YouTuber and she had like 2.2k subscribers and I had like 1.4 but I had like 1.6k and for some reason the fact that she had 2.2k subscribers was bothering me so much because I felt like I, I'm like why can't I have this many subscribers I mean I've been doing YouTube longer than she has anyway why like why you know why and I've, I've learned to just everything not gonna have an answer everything is not gonna have a an explanation Nicole like it's just life everyone has a different journey everyone has a different journey because everyone has a different life everyone has a different background and everyone has different things that the universe is going to be trying to teach them as they reach their goals so what do you know now i'm at 2.3k i don't i surpassed 2.2k and that's why i said in my other video that if you have a goal or if you have something that you know that you're capable of achieving and you're working towards it every single day then you don't need to I don't, then you don't need to sit and obsess over it every single day that's why i did that that youtube detox because i was obsessing I was obsessing over it and it just if you have all the, these obsessive thoughts all this negative energy you can't even focus and you can't even put out your best content because you have these thoughts in the back of your mind that's why i said you know i put put it out there in the universe that i'm going to be a successful youtuber and I, I know what that looks like for me when people ask me what's the goal i'm like it ain't no limit like youtube one of those things you could it could go either way really and it's just like just keep doing what i'm doing and just keep getting better at what i'm doing that was it for that next i just want to talk about some goals that i need to set for myself now that i'm 20 years old um you guys are probably like girl you're taking this too seriously but no like i said i want to appreciate being 20 i want to embrace every moment of it so it doesn't just fly by so that i don't take advantage of it and i think one way of doing that is you know of course being more conscious and aware and that's going to be done by setting goals that's how you become conscious and aware of life is working towards something so one thing that I want to work on now that I'm 20 is just I feel like I need to uh, learn hold on I feel like something that holds me back is me is literally like <laughs> something that holds me back is because I try to hold on to so much to things like I'll try to hold on to things and that is a very complicated topic 
but I kind of wanted to have this conversation with y'all. Like, one thing for me personally, I am a person that, okay, I, okay, okay, this is how I feel. I feel like in this generation, everybody, it's only, it's two people. You can be one of two types of people in this generation. You're either a person like me who has been hurt before, been in a, in a broken place before, but you have now built yourself back up and you're just becoming your greatest version. I mean, it's so simple. It's, it's that simple. You're working every day to become the best version of yourself. You know, however that looks for you. And then there's a second type of person that is broken, is hurting, and just doesn't care. And Or either it like doesn't know what to do about it, doesn't want to admit it, doesn't want to acknowledge it. And they just, they end up hurting everybody else that they come in contact with because they're so hurt and broken. Like, hurt people hurt people. I'm like, that's the problem. What I'm saying is the type of people that I attract are the hurt people. <laughs> and that's why I'll be like, what am I supposed to do? Like, No, it's not even the type of people I attract. I, I'll attract anybody, but it's the type of people that I feel like I can't let go of are the ones that are hurt. Why? Because they're hurt and I want them to get better and I want them to be healed. Like, I don't want to see nobody hurt. And it's so easy for somebody like me, I guess, on the outside looking in to just identify this person is so hurt. They're letting this from their past hold them back and, you know, they have so much potential and I just be able to see. And so for me, it's just like, when am I, I can't live my whole life like that, caring so much about people that are too broken to care about me. And it's the airplane just ignoring. And me trying to fix their life, like, because then I lose sight of what I'm doing. And at the end of the day, you know, everybody is out here for themselves, okay? We all were, you know, brought into this world alone. And so we gonna die alone. I'm not going to die with the people that I helped. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? As far as, like, if I'm sacrificing my own stuff to help them, they don't care about that. They're not really, like, appreciating it like that. So, yeah, I feel like a goal for me being 20 is I have to learn when to let stuff go. And it's going to be hard because it's not always going to be clear. It's not always going to be a clear sign that says, okay, Nicole, you got to let this go. And it's also not going to be the same for each person. It's not, I can't scientifically sit down and say, okay, you know, statistically this person is now able for me to let go. Like, no, it's so much more complicated than that. And it's crazy. You know, my friends would tell me, you know, Nicole, life is, you know, not simple. Even though the way I look at life, I look at it simply. Like I said, I look at it like it's simple and complicated. Just be the best person you can possibly be. And then you'll be straight. People, people out here trying to impress everybody. It's just, you know what I mean? But my friends told me, Nicole, it's not going to be complicated. It's not going to be easy. And I'm like, okay, but like, you know, I still will like, and then I be caring about people too much, but I can't help that. <laughs> All right, my camera overheated. Surprise, surprise. But I'm moving on to my lips now. So, like, I hope, like, what I was saying made sense. I know some of you guys are going to be able to relate. I hope I was able to reach some of you. Last thing I want to say is... Last thing I want to say is... Hold on, I can't plug another license. Don't you pretend that you'll be alright. I hope that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, I got to go back to the Clemson in the fall, y'all. I'm not trying to have this kind of semester I did in the spring. Where it was, like, all these hurt... Alright, so I'm basically done with my makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. The last thing I wanted to say was I every summer I do a giveaway. So I am doing a giveaway this summer. I'm not gonna tell you guys when it is yet, so you're gonna have to continue to stay tuned, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, everything like that. And it's gonna be like a college, like geared towards college students, because I have a lot of subscribers that are going to college. I know I go to Clemson, you know, Clemson 23, Clemson Suites. I'll be seeing y'all in a little thing. <laughs> right? Was that right? Y'all know y'all come to Clemson, so whatever. So <laughs> So, um, I'm doing a giveaway for y'all, but the thing is the giveaway is going to be kind of, um, like, it's going to be like a quiz giveaway. So I'm going to ask y'all like a few questions 
about me and about my college experience and stuff like that. So in order to like win the giveaway, one, your, your answers got to be right. And then like you got to win the, the shuffle. So be sure to, you know, you might want to go back and watch some of my, you know, college vlogs. They're not too old. Just go back a little bit, scroll a little bit down and um, make sure you catch up my college vlogs. Those really have gotten me very far. And I want y'all to check those out so that we can do a giveaway. We can bond and all that great stuff so that y'all can connect with me and then I can give y'all stuff. So. <laughs> so that's the end of my chit jacket really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope that i was able to connect with some of y'all i really hope you somebody i hope i hope you're able to find what i was saying relatable so happy to be on youtube i have so many great things planned so excited and i'm just happy to be doing what i love and happy to be able to do what i love that's basically all for this video i don't even want it in the video because i miss filming like this and i love this setup i need to, i need to think of a new video idea <laughs> think really hard it has to go viral ah! but thank you guys so much for watching be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about you know anything i said and stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one bye